Hello everyone, this is going to be a kind of an exclusive YouTube uh, video. So, um, first things first, today we are going to be um, throwing everything on the, uh, in, in Prusa, uh, from our sword, our pommel, and our spacer. We're going to throw everything on there, we're going to export it to the SD card. And uh, we're going to go straight into just like, you know, the filming of time lapse. All right. So, first things first. Um, oh, shoot. Uh, which one of these is the correct one? Or we can just swap them all on there. Or Prusa only likes one of them. I hate that so much. Uh, no, cancel that. There's that one, there's that one, and I think there's that one. Okay, so we got to tell, oh, there's no, like, auto-arrange button, is there? Place on face. Arrange them all. All right. Oh, um, maybe there was, like, maybe I did get them all. Um, so arrange them all again. You can get a little bit, oh. Wait, no, I can't go right under it, but I can get close. You kind of want to get close to these things. All right. And so, next, uh, pop open the browser really quick. Um, uh, proto pasta copper filament. Pro pasta copper filament. Uh, Prusa settings. All right, so what do we want to do? Getting started with Prusa. Uh, okay. Avoid jams. Uh, okay. So, um, what do I want? What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? Um, All right, so we want, kind of wish they would just tell me like which one it would do. Because I got this like protopasta stuff and like kind of like during the pandemic, but it's uh, 240, Let's see? Uh, but I got it, but I got it like kind of like in the middle of the pandemic. So like it's been like a year now. So I want to just like, I've been trying to print with it, but, uh, yeah, it's been jamming on me and like, this is kind of like the last, uh, kind of thing that I'm going for. We chose a nozzle temperature of 240 degrees Celsius, the thickness of, uh, and an extrusion width of 0, 1.7, uh, 0.7. Uh, the parameters are chosen for detail and, nah, 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 nah. We found a range of speeds from 10 to 65 millimeters. So the plastic appears clear and fully melted. Okay. Oh no, this isn't. Wait, is this for protopasta? Oh, HTP. No, I didn't want. Wait, which one is? Um. Actually, it says HTPLA copper composite. So maybe those were the right settings. Um, HTPLA, yeah, no, okay, so it is, so 240. All right, so that's one of them that I can do. Um, let's see what, cause I, I don't want to jump to like the first thing that I do, but we'll have that on backup. Um, printing with, yeah, okay, jams and stuff. Um. Oh, they're just pointing us to this one again. That's that's great. Um, so hey, matter hackers. Okay, so what do you, what do you say, matter hackers? Uh, fifty C on the bottom.
200 to 250. Oh, um. All right. So. Yeah, matter hackers, you're not really that great for printing out stuff when you need to be. Um, how do you heat treat? Not heat treating. Um. Okay, protopasta, you've actually done what I wanted. Bed temperature. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna stick with this one. Okay, so all right, so we're going to modify this. Okay, um, can I edit that later? Yeah, we're gonna edit that later. Um, okay, so. Nozzle height, it's going to be 220. 220. Uh, bed, first layer is going to be 60C, that's fine. 60C, that's fine. Yep, that's the first thing we were going for. Um, layer height and stuff. Um, Uh, print settings, layers, first la uh, layer height, point two two. First layer, zero point two two. Um, didn't do that yet. Didn't do speed yet, didn't do fan. Infill. I think we're going for like a 20% infill. Gyroid is fine. Um, perimeters, we're going to have like four of them because that's going to be on a sword. Um, a layer, uh, da, da, da. where's speed and stuff like printer settings, uh, general extruder. What, what's. Exit with. Oh, it might be just. I hate how they like do like this stupid, like kind of like. Top layers four, outlines three. Okay, so. The outline. Okay, so I was right. Wait, ah. Filament overrides. Nope. Filament. Density, diameter, or speed. Oh, wait, let's go for expert. Okay, so here we go. Perimeters, we need at least four. Um, all letters, horizontal shells, uh, eight. On the top, uh, we're going to go for five and five and, eh, so you know what. Bottom, they have to be at least four, so I'm like, eh, okay, fine. Permanence is going to be four because I want it more than three because, yeah. Um, oh, 
Oh, no, 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 we are not doing spiral vase. Um, extra perimeters if needed. That's fine. Scene position align. All right, infill. Um, two, two. Uh huh. Enable ironing. Um, I don't want to do this on this one because it is a ruby nozzle which doesn't have um anything on it, or the the ruby doesn't really do doesn't transfer as much heat, so ironing it might stick. Although we might do that for our other printer at some point. Um, port material, don't care about that. Oh, wait, yes, I do care about that, but I don't care about it enough for it to matter. Speed, okay. So, we're going with first layer. Up, we gotta go down. Two. 30 for perimeters. We're going to do infill. It's going to be 40. Solid infill, 40. Top infill, port material, 30. And 5, that's fine. Fill gap, 30. First layer, that's fine. Perimeters, advanced acceleration. Okay, so like, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Um, extruder width. Um, oh, is this extruder width? Yes, it is. Okay, so multiple extruders. No. Four. 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 All right. All right, we can save this. Um, um, we're going to call it MK3. Um, Proto Pasta. A uh, trial. Uh, not trail. Trial one. All right, so <sighs> filament settings, cooling, um, and speed a hundred percent. Min is 20, max is 60. Uh, six. Actually, I don't want to mess with bridges. That's fine. Um, Disable fan for the first layer. 
Yep. That is fine. HP. HTP. Nope, 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 nope. All right. We're just gonna call it PLA. Uh. Nope. Nope. No custom G code. No dependencies. We're just gonna save this as. Uh, no, it's not going to be Prusament. It's going to be Proto Pasta Copper Trial One. Enter. All right. So now that we've 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 changed the settings, we're just going to hit Slice now. Generate the G code, and it should take. Five hours to do all of the wait a second. Um enable supports. Enable support supports. Support on build plate. Only. Then we're also gonna throw in a brim on them. Place now. And hopefully that'll all hold. So export. Um, actually, wait, no, export. Print settings. Uh, support material and brim. Um, brim five millimeters. Okay, yeah, no, that's fine. Export it to. And we're going to call it Sword Project. MK3, 5 hours and 59 minutes. Save. Exporting. And then we can bunk it out. Safely remove. And so, with that, um, we're going to start printing. I'm going to take uh, the SD card to the printer. Get it all set up, and then we're going to do a time lapse. So, if all works out well, here we go.
And we're back. Um, we're going to continue building the sword next time. Um, we'll take all the parts off the bed. Um, as you can see, one of the prints kind of failed at the end, but we're still going to take it off, see if it fits. If it does, we'll reprint it. And um, with that, have a wonderful afternoon, evening, night, guys, and I will see you guys next time where we will finish that sword. All right. Bye. <laughs>